Are you struggling with color grading as a new photographer? In this video, I'll share some essential color grading tips that will help you understand color grading so you can make slashed image pop. And to follow along, I'll be leaving the link where you can download this website and show below. And it doesn't matter if you're using Lightroom, Capture One, or Photoshop, you are going to learn something for this video. Let's jump right into it. So I'm going to be using Capture One for this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is to analyze your image and see the color you want to add or the color you want to remove from the image. And looking at this image, I feel it's looking flat. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my adjust. Under my layers, I'm going to add a new field adjustment layer. And the reason why I do this is so that I can actually reduce the opacity if I think I've done so much. And when color grading, try to make your image look as natural as possible. Alright? Now for this image, I was not the one that shot it, but I'm going to try to make the image look natural. So the first thing I'm going to do for this image, the image is looking flat. So I'm going to add contrast to make it pop a little bit. So I'll come to my contrast, just take the contrast up a little bit like so, about 15, 15 works. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, looking at this image, I can see a tint of green on the image. So I can come to my white balance and just move the tint towards the magenta side a little bit like this. But right now it's looking too much, so I'm going to take it down just a tiny bit like so. Alright, like this works. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my exposure and just take the exposure up a little bit like so. And also, take down the highlights. Open up the shadow a tiny bit like this. Alright, so let's go start from where we are right now for this color grading. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see it's looking natural. Now, Let's move down to Levels Adjustment Layer. Now for the levels, we have the reds, we have the green, and we have the blues. Then I come to the green. This part right here is our shadow part. Alright? Why this part right here is our highlight part. And this part right here is our mid-tones. Now for the mid-tones, let's say I want to add a tint of red to the mid-tones. I'll come to the greens and just take it towards the side to add a little bit of red to the mid-tones. So if I take it towards the side, you can see it's adding a little of magenta, a lot of magenta to the mid-tones. It's not looking good. If I take it to this side, it's adding greens to the mid-tones and it's not looking good. So I'm going to take it to this side a little bit, like so. I'll come to the reds and just play with the mid-tones of the reds and see the colors I'm having. So I think I'm going to leave this one. Also, I'll come to the blues and play with the mid-tones of the blues and see what I'm having. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellows to the mid-tones like so, All right? So let this work for me. The before and the after. The before and the after. We can see we're just making subtle changes and it's making a huge difference. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my color tab right here. Now for this, my color tab, I'm going to add a new feed layer. So I'm going to click on this drop that I have right here. Click on a new feed adjustment layer and come to my color tab. Now inside this color tab, I'm going to be working on this color balance right here, which is our master, our three-way, our shadow, our meters, and our highlights. All right, now for the highlights, I feel there is a little bit of magenta tint on the highlights. Now to remove it, what I'm going to do, I'll come to my highlight right here, okay, and just move it towards the blue side a little bit like this. All right, so I can take it up. Now you can see, I'm, move, I'm removing those magentas on the highlight and I'm adding a bit of blues. It just depends on what you want. So, some other people might actually want to add greens to the highlights. So, you can add greens to your highlights if that's your style. Other people might want to add yellows to the highlights. You can add yellows to your highlights if that is your style. Other people might want to add purple or reds. So, it's your style. For me, looking at this image, since I want to make it look as natural as possible, I'm going to add blues or cyan like this. All right. Now I feel the saturation is looking too much. For the saturation, if I take it up like this, you can see the saturation is getting too much. It's all over the place. Why? If I bring it down like this, it's as if I do not do anything. So I'm going to take it up a little bit like this. All right. Just to remove a little bit of magentas from the highlights. Now. I'll come to the shadow area. The same thing applies for the shadow area. For example, let's say I add reds. If I want to add reds to the shadows, 
I can just add rest to the shadow like this. Now, this is looking good. So if this is your style, this works for you. But remember, I want to make my image look as natural as possible. So I can just play with the colors. If I want to add yellows, I can add yellows. If I want to add greens, I can add greens. Also, if I want to add blues, I can add blues like that. But before I do that, let me go back to this highlight again. Now for the highlights, I forgot to mention, I can choose to take down the brightness of the highlight like this or take it up like this if I want to do that. So I think I'm just going to take down the lightness or the brightness of the highlight a little bit like so. So like this works for me. Now back to our shadow. Now for the shadow, I'm just going to play with colors and see the one that actually works for my shadow. All right, so let's play with colors and see. Okay, okay, I think this color also works for the shadow. And I'm going to take the saturation down a little bit and take the lightness down a little bit. Let's play with colors and see. Okay, okay, blues. No, I don't want blues on my shadow, but if you want blues, you can add blue. So let's, let's just play and see which one works. I think yellow actually works for me. Yellow works for me. So yellow works for me. The before and the after. Also, I think I'm going to take the lightness up a little bit. Like so. All right. Now, the same thing applies for the midtones. Now, for the midtones, you can add any colors to the midtones. So if I want to add greens to the midtones, I can add greens. Let me just take the saturation up so you can see the effect. So I can add greens. I can add, um, I can add cyans. I can add blues. I can add purple, I can add red, I can add orange, I can add yellows, I can add greens, all right? So it's just depending on what you want to add. So I feel the saturation is too much, I want to take saturation down. And for the midtones, I'm just going to add a little bit of orange because Kito consists of mostly reds, oranges, and yellows. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellowish orange like so for the midtones. And maybe take, that, take the brightness up a little bit like this, all right? and just maybe take down the saturation a little bit like so all right now see the before oh started from and the after oh started from and the after so like i said it's individual preference it's just depending on what you want now for the general right here which is the master this master is if you want to add color to the overall image so let's say you want to give your image a particular feel you can actually do it with this general right here so if i just add any colors it's just going to affect the whole image. So right now, the whole image is looking kind of orange. If I take it to this side, it's looking kind of red. If I take it to this side, it's looking kind of purple. If I take it to this side, it's looking kind of blue, cyan, green, like that. So it's just depending on the fee you want for your image. So for this image, I'm going to add a little of blues, like so, and just take down the saturation a little bit. Let's see. Blue does not work for me, so I'm going to move it towards the orange side and towards the yellow side. Let's see. Okay, like this works for me. Perfect. So, let me play with the saturation and see. Let me take saturation up and see. Uh, take it down a little bit. Okay. Now, like this works for me. See the before, what we started from, and the after. The before and the after. Now, you can see it's looking a lot better. Now, next thing we're going to do. Let's just try and just even as the colors of the whole skin tone. Now to do that, I'm going to create an empty adjustment layer. So I'll click on this drop that icon again. Create empty adjustment layer. All right. Now I'm going to pick my AI brush tool and just try to select the skin tone for me like so. All right. Now I don't want to affect the hair. So I'm just going to remove the hair. So I'll pick my eraser tool and just manually erase it from the hair. So if you want to see your mask, press M to show your mask or M to hide your mask and just remove it from the hair because I don't want that mask to affect the hair. I just want it to affect only the skin tone. All right, so like this works. You can also erase it from the eyes if you don't want it to affect the eyes. Also, you can erase it from the lips and if there is blush, you can erase it from the blush as well. So I'm going to add this part for the selection like this. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna press M again to hide that mask. Now from here, under your color editor, just come to your skin tool right here. Once you click on skin tone, select your picker tool and sample a color of the image you want the red skin tone to look like. So I'm gonna sample this color right here. 
and I want the rest of my screen to, to look like this color right here. When I sample that color, you can see it automatically selects that color for us right here. Just scroll down to your uniformity. Under your uniformity, I want to move the hue up a little bit. Also, move the saturation up a little bit like this. All right. Now, from here, under the amount, we can just play with the saturation, take the saturation up to add more saturation for the skin tone. And also, play with the hue. So, if you want to add orange, take it towards this side. If you want to add greens, take it towards this side like this. So, like I said, depending on what you want. So, I think I'm going to add a little of orange instead of green. So, I'm going to take it towards this side a little bit like so. Alright, so let's see our overall before and after. These are before. You can see how flat the image is looking. And these are after. Our before and after. So as a new photographer, if you can do this for all your image, it's going to improve your image drastically. I hope you find this video helpful and useful. And if you want to watch how to record your image from start to finish, check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.